Deadpool is known for being one of the kookiest characters in comic books, so he's bound to spawn a plethora of alternate universe counterparts. My question is, who are these guys, and how do they stack up to the Deadpool of Earth 616 that we all know and love? Let's find out. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the show with issues. I'm Orem and it's time for another Parallels, the segment on this show where we talk about alternate universe versions of a character. Let's get started. So we can't talk about the alternate universe versions of the Merc with a Mouth without talking about his family, the Deadpool Corps. The Deadpool Corps were formed by the elders of the universe as a last ditch effort to save the multiverse from the Awareness. The Awareness was the last survivor of a race of beings that lived in an ancient universe that existed before Earth 616. Speaking of 616, the Big Bang that created it was actually the reason for wiping out the Awareness's species. Without somehow killing the being himself. The point is, the Big Bang also gave the Awareness the cosmic power to absorb consciousnesses. He decided to act revenge against this newly formed universe by stealing the consciousnesses of planets across the galaxy. The reason the Elders task 616 is Deadpool with forming the Deadpool core is because Wade Wilson's brain is so off its rocker that the Awareness theoretically wouldn't be able to absorb his consciousness. This would allow Deadpool and his core to fight him. So who did Wade recruit to said cause? He took a road trip across the multiverse, first stopping at the home of one Wanda Wilson, Lady Deadpool. Hailing from Earth 3010, a reality where apparently a rebellious group in America was formed because of fascists, or something, Wanda Wilson decided to join the Rebels out of a need to feel wanted, and during a fight with General America, the Captain America of this universe, Lady Deadpool was recruited by Deadpool and joined up with the rest of the Corps. Unfortunately, Miss Wilson died during the Deadpool Corps War, which we'll get back to later. Basically, she crashed the Corps' spaceship into the head of Galactopool, a Deadpool version of Galactus, because that's a normal thing, apparently. Anyway, time to move on to the next member of the Corps, Wade Wilson of Earth 10330, Kidpool. Kidpool's universe is fairly similar similar to Earth 616, except that most of the X-Men are kids, including obviously Kidpool. Baby Wade attended and lived at the Xavier Orphanage for Troubled Boys, where he was a pretty obnoxious kid. One day during class, he was making a huge ruckus and was sent to detention with Scott Summers because of this. Knowing that Scott wanted to go to the school's prom that was happening at the same time as their detention, Kidpool convinced him to break out. They eventually made it to the prom, but because Kidpool is Kidpool, he ended up picking a fight with pretty much the whole school. After being mocked by his peers, Wadey decided to leave the orphanage for good, and right as he said this, 616's Deadpool popped in to recruit him for the fight against the awareness. I guess it's also worth mentioning that Kidpool has two lightsabers that he stole from the danger room, so that's pretty neat. Let's do a recap. Roll call so far is Deadpool with boobs and Deadpool, but like an eight-year-old? Who else is in this core of nutcases? Dazzle me, writers! How about we make Deadpool a zombie and then cut his head off and just continue to have him around as a character? Yeah, this is actually a thing. Wade Wilson of Earth 2149, the zombie-verse was infected by the zombie plague at some point after the outbreak. After an encounter with the Silver Surfer, Wade decided to transport to Earth 616, where he was captured by armor, which is basically shield, but for interdimensional travel. At some point before his escape with Simon Garth, also known as Zombie, he lost the rest of his body, now only a head. Later, after Headpool got on Hydra's radar, Dr. Betty Swanson, an AIM operative, and 616 Deadpool tracked the head down to rescue him. They succeeded and all traveled back to the point where Headpool entered 616 and the two Wades jumped through a portal in an attempt to return to Earth 2149. This portal instead started their journey onto recruiting the rest of the Corps. Later on during the Deadpool war of sorts that I keep alluding to, Headpool was killed by Dreadpool, who again we'll get into later. Last of the Deadpool Corps is the Wade Wilson of Earth 10 3173, Dogpool. As the name implies, this Wade is a dog. Yeah, he's just a straight up dog. He was used in testing facilities for an experimental lipstick called Mascara X. Not Lipstick X, Mascara X. You know, because Weapon X. Anyway, the makeup was designed to be a self-replenishing lipstick, but when it was used on Dogpool, it caused him to develop the ability to heal from any wound. Basically, it gave him the normal power set of Deadpool. So this unnamed shitty company decided that because the makeup had weird effects, they would just toss the mutt in the dumpster. Dogpool wandered around until he found a local circus of which he quickly became the star. This is where Puppy Wade stayed until 616's Deadpool showed up and recruited him for the cause. Dogpool died defending Deadpool at the start of the Deadpool War. So now that we're done with the Deadpool core, and I've sufficiently teased you with the war between Deadpools across the multiverse, we're gonna take a quick break and talk about a very interesting pair of alternate Wades. These next two are interesting because they kind of go hand in hand. They're both from Earth 11638, also known as the Perfect World, where everything went, well, perfectly for that world's Peter Parker. If you want to know more about the Perfect World, check out an older episode of the show on alternate Hulks. I talk about it in greater detail over there. So who is the Deadpool of this world? Well, that's kind of complicated because there really isn't one here. Wade Wilson here is actually a super genius. At some point, he decided to don a flamboyant 
flamboyantly red Doctor Doom-esque outfit and take on the name Death Mask for some reason that's not really explained. So if the Wade Wilson on this perfect world is pretty much Doctor Doom, then what's the Victor Von Doom up to here? And where is this world's Deadpool? Well, we can actually kill two birds with one stone here, since Earth 11638's Victor Von Doom is known as Death Wish, who is pretty much a green Deadpool. He was actually pretty good friends with 616's Deadpool for a while until his death wish was fulfilled and he was killed by death mask. Now it's time to take a trip back to the 90s with Earth 295 where Age of Apocalypse takes place. Wade Wilson, also known as Dead Man Wade, was one of Apocalypse's chief assassins. The catch with this guy is that he has an extreme fascination with pain. In fact, one of his fellow assassin buddies, Danielle Moonstar, indulged in this quirk by just torturing him all the time. So yeah, that's neat. Because of this, he's also not the fun-loving maniac that 616's Deadpool is. He's normally pretty serious and borderline depressed all the time. There really isn't much else to this guy. He never became a Deadpool and died in the Deadpool Corps war after joining the bad guys. I guess it's also worth mentioning that his healing factor was granted to him by Apocalypse, not unlike Keeper Murdoch's powers, who I talked about in another older episode of the show back in season one. Now you can't talk about alternate takes on Marvel characters without mentioning their ultimate counterparts, so Deadpool's Ultimate Universe version takes the form of Wadey Wilson, who is one of the lead Reavers. The Reavers, at least in the Ultimate Universe, are a group of technically enhanced humans with the sole mission of hunting mutants on a TV show. The show, ran by Mojo Adams, takes place on Krakoa Island and is exactly what it sounds like, a disgusting reality show designed to kill mutants. The one time we saw an actual episode of the show was when Deadpool and some lackeys infiltrated the X-Mansion and captured the current X-Men along with Spider-Man, who was visiting at the time. They were brought to Krakoa and spread out amongst the island with the Reavers tracking them down throughout the episode. Eventually, everyone escaped, but not until after unmasking Wilson. What the X-Men saw was pretty much a fishbowl with a naked head inside. See, Earth-1610's Deadpool doesn't exactly have cancer, but he is majorly disfigured as a result of his time in the Wakandan Wars. Wadey is also slightly less insane than his 616 counterpart, not unlike Dead Man Wade. He does break the fourth wall, but only to the camera during Mojo's show. He's not aware of himself being in a comic book or anything like that. Remember that Deadpool war I kept mentioning earlier? No, we're not gonna talk about it quite yet, but Wadey over here was killed during it. Moving on. Next up is Wade Wilson of Earth 6466, a reality where at some point the United States and Canada merged to form the United States of North America. Here, Wade is known as Major Deadpool and is extremely well put together for a version of the Merc with a Mouth. His skin is completely clear, he's a major, as the name implies, in S.H.I.E.L.D. and is totally devoted to his cause. At some point after Headpool and 616 Deadpool met up, they traveled to his Earth and encountered the Major himself. He arrested the two and began the interrogation process since he had lost a few of his soldiers to a similar dimensional portal days before. Major got so fed up during 616's interrogation that he decided to punish him by having a hand-to-hand -hand duel. The Major initially had the upper hand, but but soon Deadpool overtook him and started beating on him hard, claiming that he wanted to destroy something beautiful. Eventually, the Major woke up and ordered his soldiers to shoot the two Wades, but it was too late. They escaped through another portal and seemingly continued their recruiting missions for the Corps. Major Deadpool was also killed sometime during the Deadpool War. Speaking of which, have you ever heard of a certain comic book called Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe? For those that haven't, it details the story of a version of Deadpool that was in the process of being cured of his insanity. This didn't work, however, and only replaced the voices in his head with one singular mission, kill everything. Wade took it upon himself to track down every superhero and supervillain in Earth-12-101 and brutally murder them. And for those of you that are thinking, oh, no big deal, he couldn't possibly kill every single character, someone has to stop him. You're wrong. Deadpool went above and beyond here, even killing the very writers of the book he was in, and vowing to take down anyone who was reading at the time. Now, he may have gotten a little overzealous with that last part, but still, this guy is a pretty accomplished serial killer. So how does he fit into the Deadpool war I kept teasing? Well, he kind of started it. At some point, after killing everyone in the Ideaverse, where all the literary characters that certain Marvel characters are based on reside, Deadpool decided that his new mission was to track down every single one of his doppelgangers and murder them. And you can tell, as evidenced by some of the Wades I've talked about on this list so far, he was pretty successful at it. He formed an evil Deadpool core, with Deadman Wade and Ultimate Deadpool being among its ranks. They traversed the multiverse, killing versions of themselves along the way until they ran into the original Deadpool core, of which they successfully defeated most of its members. In one final battle between himself and 616 Deadpool, Dreadpool was killed after realizing the pain he had caused the multiverse. One last Deadpool I wanted to mention is Gwenpool, who was just recently created. All we really know about her so far is that she got the 616 somehow 
now and is working as a contract assassin of sorts. Also, her name is literally Gwen Poole, like Gwen Poole, but with a space and an E. Check out her ongoing that she's getting soon. They'll probably detail her origin there. Oh, she also has super rad hair. But that's all the dead poolery I've got for this time. Who is your favorite that I talked about? And did I miss any super important ones? Let me know in the comments. Before you head out, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on all my new stuff. That all being said, thank you so much for watching. Next time someone tries to cure my insanity, and then I come to kill all of you.